Now to a seven on your side investigation. According to data from New York City Department of Education, there are more than 170,000 empty seats in New York City district schools. Operators of charter schools have been trying to fill those seats with new charter school students. But recently, the city school's chancellor suddenly pulled the proposals for three of those new charter schools right before they were about to be voted on. Here's investigative reporter Kristen Thorne. I was searching for different options to apply for kindergarten for my daughter, and I applied to Success Academy. The newest Success Academy charter school was supposed to be located right in Perla Hidalgo's neighborhood in Williamsbridge. The charter school would share a school building with Bronx Green Middle School. It's called co-location. Success Academy already has 46 co-located charter schools throughout the city, and they thought Success Academy Williamsbridge would make sense because According to data from the City Department of Ed, there are 922 empty seats in the Bronx Green Middle School building. When Success proposed it about a year ago, they also proposed putting charter schools in a school building in Springfield Gardens, which has 875 empty seats, and in Rochdale, which has 765 empty seats. The three charter schools would have served 1,500 students. But in January, two days before a Department of Ed public hearing on the proposal, the last step in the process. The New York City Schools Chancellor suddenly pulled the three charter school proposals from the agenda. Basically disappointment because um, you do want to have different options when looking for a place to send your child to. The chancellor said community members had said the charter schools would create, quote, significant challenges for the new and existing co-located schools. The Department of Ed says there were concerns from the school communities about space usage in the building. And the whole thing is really, Kristen, unnecessary. I think that's what is so heartbreaking. There was plenty of space in these proposed sites. We were not taking away a single room from the district school. These parents, um, thousands of them, were expecting these three schools, and then 48 hours they were yanked down. United Federation of Teachers President Michael Mulgrew said two weeks later in an unrelated press conference. It's clear that parents in the community really do not want an expansion of charters at this point in time because they understand that the resources are being drained from the public schools. Current Success Academy parents are trying to turn things around by calling and writing emails. And I was like very distraught when I heard about it. If we have a seat at the table, our children are experiencing it. Why can't others? I'm hoping that our voice can be heard. Parents need choices. The Department of Education says it is continuing to work with Success Academy to try to find locations for those three charter schools. The school lottery is five weeks away.